Hi, my name is Alicia French, and I did this walk because I've lost many people in my life to suicide, and I want to help others. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Losing someone you love to suicide is heart-wrenching, life-altering, and usually unexpected. Loved ones who are left behind are not only faced with an overwhelming amount of grief, but they are left with questions that will never be answered. Each day that passes is a constant struggle to grasp the fact that the person we love so deeply and or is facing many demons, was or is facing many demons uh, that we were unaware of. On November 11th, this woman lost her brother, Jesse, to suicide. Her whole life came to a screeching halt, and life as she knew it would never be the same again. Her brother was her best friend, the one she turned to for advice, the one person who was supposed to be by her side forever. Jesse loved without limits and conditionally. He was a great dad, brother, son, cousin, and friend. Although most of knew him, knew that he had quite a few personal struggles. She didn't think that anyone truly knew it was to the point that he felt like taking his own life. Not many of us are aware of the factors that put people at risk for suicide. Depression and other mental disorders that may lead to suicide are in most cases both unrecognizable and treatable. These signs must be taken seriously. If you or someone you know talks about being depressed or is thinking about harming themselves, please listen, take it seriously, and empower them to seek professional help. Suicide does not have to be an option. Together, we can raise awareness and educate people that are unaware of the signs and symptoms and help save the life of someone that we may know and love. AFSP has educational resources available. Please visit their website to learn more about suicide, surviving suicide loss, as well as much more helpful information on this cause. If you are in crisis and need help, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. And for those of us that have smartphones, it doesn't give you the letters, that is 8255. Fight for life because you matter. To add to Brian, Brian's thoughts, which was the original author, Jesse truly did love without limits, and so many of us missed him daily. I am hoping today that everyone will take the time to talk to a new person, share your stories, and be united. I'd also like to thank Alicia French, for her help today in creating this event. This story may be a story that sounds familiar to you. Know that you are here with us today. Your stories are heard. Share with each other and find peace and healing on the wall today. If you have red beads, please hold them high. This is an honor of a lost spouse or partner. We thank you for being here and we honor your loved one. If you have gold beads, please hold them high. This is an honor of a lost parent. We thank you for being here, and we honor your loved one. If you have white beads, please hold them high. This is an honor of a lost child. We thank you for being here, and we honor your loved one. If you have orange beads, please hold them high. This is an honor of a lost sibling, and we thank you for being here, and we honor your loved one. If you have silver beads, please hold them high. This is an honor of a lost first responder or military. We thank you for being here, and we honor your loved one or friend. If you have purple beads, please hold them high. This is an honor of a lost friend or relative. We thank you for being here, and we honor your friend or loved one. If you have green beads, please hold them very high. This is an honor of those that struggle. We thank you for taking the steps to help us embrace the stigma and lend a voice to mental illness. We thank you for being here and being open about your mental illness. If you have red, white, blue beads, which most of you do, please hold them high. Red, white, blue beads, 
are in honor of our military that is protecting us. We thank any of you that have or are serving, and we honor you. If you have blue beads, please hold them high. This is in honor of the mission. This re represents that each of you are taking steps to help those that have lost someone and to support those that are struggling. Thank you for being here today with all of us.